What's up, Photox? I am Chris Porter, and this is you, Sucky Photography, but not for long. All right, try to stay on task. This is my third time trying to go through this thing, but I'm going to go ahead and get it done. All right, today I'm going to talk about camera settings, and I'm going to take you through my uh, amazing Anastasia video. This is a video I have for sale, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you peek inside, and uh, some of these pictures that I took, I'm going to just kind of take you through the camera settings on, I think this first shoot is what it takes you through. All right, I have that down here. All right, and this is the actual, after you purchase it, this is the actual, actual what you get. All right, let's talk about uh, whenever I set up a light, I'm using this is the flash that I'm going to use, or that I'm using in the video, and it's a 500 watt, nice little 500 watt light. That's basically all you need to know. A come in 500 watt seconds. So, whenever I set the light up on a normal basis, I, I kick it up to about half. Uh, some of the lights are digital in the studio, so I put it on 250. And that's half of the 500 watt that you're going to get. All right. And in this, all right, this is where I first start shooting right about here. And if you learn to really control like your lighting, your camera settings. I mean, in any situation, you can create a really great picture. And I, I do recommend shooting in RAW, especially where you really don't have a lot of control over the light, like outside. But in this instance, I think I may be shot in JPEG, but not a big deal. I still end up getting some really amazing images. Just like that. There you go, just like that. All right, I think here is where I shot my first shot. And... Uh, my, my camera was probably set um, probably set to like something I had shot earlier. Maybe it was something outside. Perfect. Good. Roll up towards me just a hair. Just like that. Good. Make sure your neck looks real nice. Lean really. it over towards her a little bit more. Right here. Good. I check like the shot. One sixtieth of a second. F6.3. ISO was 100. And that shot, let's look at it again. Good, I like that. <clears throat> All right, that shot, like I said, I was at 160th of a second. With my camera, 160th of a second, if I go, let's say, 180th of a second, I'll probably end up seeing my shutter somewhere in that, like, to the far right in that frame. Uh, F6.3. I was probably outside, and I wanted a little blur in the background, so I had it at f6.3. That creates uh, I can, the subjects in focus, but the background starts blurring off right around that time. ISO 100, I hardly ever change the ISO unless I'm outside. And that's like normally the last thing I change because I want to bring in a little bit more light. Now notice how light this image is. Now watch whenever I shoot the next image. I make a little less on it. Good. Good. No, seriously, my ribs always think Oh my god. <laughs> so I always put one hand over. And turn your head towards the light. Right there. Right here. Let's go ahead and uh, kick this up to the side so you can see it. All right. All right. I was at 1 125th one of a second. If you can see this, one one twenty fifth of a second f nine ISO one hundred. So notice I went from one sixtieth to one one twenty fifth. Now what that does it it darkens the image. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, it lightens the image just a little bit, brings in some of the um, lighting that's in the studio. Because I mean, you know, we we didn't cover up any windows. Um, and the F9 darkens the F9 darkens the image a little bit. When it was F6.3, it's letting in more light. F9 darkens the image. So, and of course, the ISO stays the same. 100, a whole lot less grain in the entire image. Good. Rotate your body that way. Good. 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 More than likely, I don't have that strong. It's a soft, so it makes it even less um, 
you know, it diffuses the light a little bit more. 25th of a second, F9. Let's take a look at it a little bit bigger. See, it's still a really super nice image. Uh, even on the screen, it's a little bit blurry. It's a lot cleaner and clearer in, in person. The gorgeous girl. Now what will happen is once you start shooting, once you really start getting into it, like in a lot of situations, I'll use one light. Uh, but what will happen is I normally start off inside at 1 one twenty fifth of a second, normally right at F9, ISO 100. That's just a standard setting for me because I know my camera and I know what it can and what it can't do and, what, and normally what I like. Um, and as far as post-processing, I can control a lot of different elements at this at this camera setting. When I'm outside, it's a, it's a little bit different because I never know what I'm gonna get. I'm, I never know if I'm gonna have high noon sun. Uh, most of the time, I'm in the shadows. You know, I try to stay in the shade so I don't get hard shadows on their face. But outside is just a little bit different, and I'll tell you a little bit about that. And I normally I go into that uh, later in this in this video. Or actually, in this video series, I go into it a little bit later um, in this Amazing Anastasia series. I'm going to do a couple more videos in here just to show you, um, you know, just a few more of the tips and tricks that I have in here that are really good. So, and I have it reasonably priced, $47. If you want to get it, just go to the link at the bottom of this page, and uh, you can pick it up. Really appreciate you uh, taking a look at it, and I hope to hear from you. Make sure you send me your questions. If you have any questions, I'm more than willing to answer it. Thanks a lot. Keep shooting.